All right, October 6, 2022. Thank you for your 10 minutes of your time. Um, Let us keep praying for our friends, family, and loved ones, those who are going through trials and tribulations. Um, You know, these earthquakes, these famines, um, pestilence, um, uh, floods, <laughs> uh, fires. All the things that His Majesty said that will be happening is happening. Um, this video, um, thank you for your likes, your comments, and sharing. I hope that you're doing that, at least, at least that simple part, to wake up your friends and your family and to have these timely um, insights um, as they come. You know, this is not just me doing this off the riff. Um, this is pure inspiration from the Most High. By watching the times to tell you the truth. Because we can't watch every single. Um, a watchman can't watch every single corner. He may be stationed in one, one part here. And another watchman may be over here. And together you'll have a full picture. If you know who is listening and watching and praying. Uh, in the spirit of, of, uh, of truth. Holiness and truth. Okay. Um. The, the seven things that I see coming in these next 10 years, okay? Not even 10 years because we in 2022 going in 2023. But these next uh, few years is... Uh, I'm trying to find my little chart. It's... Uh, I'll put the chart up on the, on the, on the, on the screen. Or I'll repost it um, in, the, in, the, in the post section for you. Um... But these next coming years is the final showdown. Okay. Uh, War, War 3 is already here. Okay. Many you many people think World War 3 is the last war. No. World War 4 is the last war. Because that is the war that it will, it will transfer from World War 3. And then it will move into fighting the Messiah. Okay. Because the Messiah will intervene. Uh, the Messiah will intervene into this time and 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 come and draw the armies towards him, okay? After World War Three. Now, World War Three is already going on. It will be a limited war, a limited strike uh on the United States. The United States will be on fire. You can bet that bottom dollar. Um, the stench of sin has reached the nostrils of the Most High. You can see it all around. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear can see that. Um, then there will be a transfer of power. That transfer of power will be implemented. I want you to remember this date. June 30, 2023. Okay, That's the deadline for the power transfer. Now they may have, uh, they may have that limited war throughout that time, as they transfer over the power. And the power I'm talking about is economic power. Okay, the United States is a corporation, and that corporation has failed. It failed back in 2008. The Pope came in 2015 and told uh, Congress that the corporation is over. That power was transferred over to the United Nations, the IMF, Bank, BIS, Bank of International Settlement, and um, the United Nations, and so on and so forth. Okay, that is the new, that is the new world government. It's partly weak and partly strong. Okay, uh, you have the African Union, the European Union, you have the Asian Union, which is called the Shanghai Corporation. And now they just need the American Union, which they already have because they signed the they signed the um uh, Canada Mexico uh, Free Trade Agreement Act. That's not what it's called, but it's Canada Mexico uh, Trading Agreement, uh, something like that. Uh, after they do that, they have to usher in a new currency, new banking system. Okay. Then there will be a time of peace after the war. Um, that time of peace will bring persecution, martyrdom, and 
yeah, persecution and martyrdom. When that after after the war, we'll also have a cosmic change, and that cosmic change will be in twenty twenty four. Okay, when the next great eclipse comes back over, that will be an X. That will uh, culminate the termination of the eagle head on the on the west side, and Russia's termination will be the eagle head on the east side. And the middle head is the Vatican, which will be the last head that will be standing, which too will disappear after after um the three and a half years from 2024 all the way up to 2030, okay? That will be the end of uh this system. Um this man's worldly system, okay? You you can count on that. Um, the math has already been done and it's already ready. So 2024 will be the implementation of the one world system, which they've already been planning and preparing for. They're just waiting for the corporation in the United States to go bankrupt once again. And then the power will be transferred. They will give a new uh, system. The, the system will be new, but it, it'll look like the old. So we have to make sure we have our... Uh, eyes and our wisdom um, focused on the little changes that they do make. Like I said, martyrdom, Sunday law is coming because we're going to have a problem with those who keep in the Sabbath day and those who are pushing Sunday worship. It'll also be image worship back to uh, pagan uh, pagan slash Christianity, Christianity worship that will be there. The false messiah will be on the scene and the final battle will be between the armies and the false messiah. Okay. A lot of that will happen uh, in what we call the Middle East in Europe. A lot of that will happen in, in that area. Though a lot of people will be transferred from the United States, from the, from, from the Americas over into Europe. Um, in Africa and places like that, a lot of people will be transferred from out of here <clears throat> or pushed down to uh, to the Southern America or the Northern America. But either way you go, it's going to be partly weak, partly strong. They're not going to be able to um, have a stronghold on everybody. Will they, The places that they'll be strong at is internet, um, finance, uh, internet finance, and political spaces okay so that's half of that's half of, of a man but those three those three things that they have control over will also be weak within themselves if you've seen my videos before where i showed you the constitution of a man um spiritual political uh social dietary economic power okay those those the stations of the cross okay that they're, they're gonna have some control over dietary some control over political some control over your social some control over your spiritual but you must remember that your consent is the key okay your consent is the key so you've got to read the contracts that you're signing up for um the agreements that you're making that you're unaware of um because they're ready to push closer um they're ready to push closer to stamping the stamp down the message of salvation okay it's either their way of salvation or is no way okay if you teach them righteousness and holiness and calling people into repentance you're going to be a target okay you will be a target they already came out and said um that the old preaching is pretty much terroristic preaching, okay? <laughs> the preaching of living right, thinking right, doing right, speaking right, being right. Those things are uh, too rigid and they are fundamentalist, meaning that you're extreme in your views, okay? So that will happen, okay? So those who are left and who are remnant uh, of the, of the um, church will have to be mindful of that. Thank you for your 10 minutes of your time. I'll see you on the next video. Shalom.